Champ, champ, champ. Yes, that is Alex Pereira if he takes down the massive Tomastinol. Two savage dudes ready to throw down like there's no tomorrow. Pereira, the Brazilian knockout artist, wants that legendary champ 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 status. But Aspinall, this hulking giant's out to smash dreams. Link and you'll miss the crazy moments that'll make your jaw drop. Do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Bonuses just continue to pile up for the budding heavyweight contender, Tom Aspinall. Truly a five-tool player when it comes to his skills, but in this particular matchup, he believes the ground game is going to be his bread and butter. He believes we're looking at a submission finish here tonight. Nice shot there by the champ. Edge of your seat action as expected so far. to land flush. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh! jaw area. We'll see if he can make some adjustments and perhaps defensively raise that guard to prevent any further damage. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You gotta go close the show. Oh, up for landing massive shots. He's hurt so bad. He's gotta find... There it is again. Look at that. This is crazy around the fight. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Big left hand there inside. Oh, oh he's got him hurting here. Oh. Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. And look at the post on the opposite side to give him some the correct His nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut, perhaps there on the bridge. Well, that won't feel good in the morning. Big uppercut. Oh. That's a big strike right there. Oh, nice combination. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive hook to put his opponent on wobbly legs. Only 10 seconds remaining. Oh, the big left hand! Huh. What a round! Stop, stop, stop. All right, there's the horn. Stop. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through. You ready to fight? You ready? Round two here. All right, so here we go. The crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. You saw in the previous round, both fighters got rocked. I don't think the scorecards are going to be needed for this one. No, the scorecards will not be needed. If we continue to fight as we did in the previous round, somebody is going to shoot. All right, well, that blow is fauceting from that cut with each strike landed, and he continues to effectively target that area. You know, we are talking about a guy with a super high fight IQ. So when you give him that blood, that crimson red is nothing more than something that inspires him to continue doing what he's doing. So you have got to change something. You got to get your head moving so you're not taking too much damage to that cut. Massive, massive hook lands, and his opponent seems to be on his way out of the fight. Big elbow there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Try to establish that trap. Oh! He's hooked now. Do it again. Oh! Oh, nice.
Nice kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. But Aiden is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Well, it's been a wild fight thus far. Perhaps a contender for some bonus money at fight's end. These guys are going to have to dig deep. They're both hurt. They're both hurt. You expected it, though. You expected a close fight. You did not expect a war like this, though, where both guys, from the moment they said fight, went forward, got in each other's face, and just beat each other up. It's been tremendous. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. 90 seconds to go now. They're so evenly matched, they're going tip for tat. All right, so he lands again, just like we saw in the last round, realizing a lot of success with his more tag game team. You know, why change it? It's working, and it's working from the very start of the fight. The moment this fight started, you saw the advantage that we predicted was there. And look what that one body shot did to his opponent. That shows you the power and the power in the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Take a deep oh, just open it up on him now. 15 seconds. 10 seconds on the clock. Oh. And the horn sounds oh. on round two. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, so now we have some real adversity. There's a cut on the nose. Hard to know if that's impacting the breathing, but some definite damage in that previous round. Yeah, some real damage. And now when you get a cut like that, that is in a bad spot because every time you get hit on the nose, it's so jarring. And then the blood starts to go down into the mouth. He's got an uphill battle ahead of him. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. Here we go, third round of this championship. Oh, he's on bodily legs now. Oh, he got to his spot. Heavy shots raining down. He's having his way with him here. Thought about a joke, instead flattens him out. And now he's got a lot of options offensively, champ. Yeah, he's got all the options available to him. Now he just has to get all that hip pressure into his right right back. Oh, oh, huge huge elbow. Elbow. Setting up an on ball now. Oh, that's tight. But Aiden's pretty swollen now in that jaw area. It doesn't appear to be affecting him all that much, but he... Oh, he's out! He actually escaped. Look, I gotta stop writing these dudes' obituaries, man. I always think they're done. Surprise me. Now he's got a good body position, yo. This man is landing brutal ground and pound. Oh, he's got his back. Aspinall's able to flatten him out. Really pressing on him now. Opponent's belly flat on the mat. This is some exhausting work, man. I mean, it is so tiring to be fighting in this way. So much wrestling, so much grappling. Expending all this energy, trying to hold the guy down. Looking to help him to stop it if he will. Holy smokes. What a fight. Make the bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. And we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 25 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by TKO and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Tom Aspinall. 
All right, so we hear, and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.